all right so y'all keep asking me about the video with the rates the shipping rates i got y'all this is the video with the shipping rates head over into your shopify after you get into your shopify we go into the setting settings it's in the bottom left corner of your shopify um screen so we're gonna click settings right after you click settings we're gonna go into shipping and delivery after we go into shipping and delivery we're gonna go into manage all right so i'm gonna explain really quick how I set it up, how you guys set it up could be however you want to set it up. This is how I set my website up. So boom, very simple. I promise you're going to scroll down. I mean, well, all these things right here that says product, that's what's going to be, um, charged for shipping or whatever. So whatever product you have in your store is just going to fall in line. So you don't got to worry about that. Um, the shipping too. Now, you could either create a shipping zone. Um, this should already be set up. I can't really remember, but wherever you are, it should already be set up. So I'm in the US. So US off rip is, the, is my shipping zone. So United States, right? And then there's gonna be another one at the bottom that says the rest of the world, which is, which would be international. So normally you would have to charge more um, initially to send it out because if I wanna send something to my friend in Japan, I can't use the same rates from in the US, you get what I'm saying? Cause the label is gonna be more expensive. So I'll, I might, I won't lose money, but like it'll cut into some of my pockets to pay for the label. You get what I'm saying? So, um, all right. After after we, we got that all the way, um, for domestics, for the US specifically, we'll handle um, our region first. So boom, it'll say economy, um, and well both is economy but i have both like this because one i just charge five dollars for, sh for shipping right so basically i charge five dollars for shipping and then i have another rate to where if you buy two shirts you get shipping for free you get what i'm saying so that's how you could set up that rate this is how people do it um this one right here you just click add rate after you click add rate you can go to set up set up your own rate or you can use a carrier rate a carrier would be DHL, UPS, or USPS, and you can use their rates. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I didn't do it like this because I just didn't want to do it like that. I just already knew I'll charge $5 for shipping. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, cool. I'll get it to them in five to eight business days, whatever, package it, drop it off, whatever, and price it at five um at five dollars. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to, you can add um, conditions like based on weight. So if it's a certain weight, it'll, um, the shipping will be this price. But I didn't do that either. So I don't want to speak too much on that. I just know for a fact what I did. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not some big guru in the Shopify. I just know the basics. I read a little bit and I was like, okay, cool. This is how I understood it. You know what I'm saying? So when you add in your rates, let's say you want to charge $5 for shipping like me. This is what I did. I clicked add rate just like that and then I click set up your own rates I left the economy at five to eight business days which is relatively fast you know what I'm saying and I just put five dollars here I deleted this I put uh, five dollars and then I click done and then it got added eight to five business days oh that's what I did yeah yeah, yeah. so I went there I did the same thing five to eight business days I didn't put a price I put free because it's gonna be free shipping Sorry, it's gonna be free if you order two shirts. And then I click based on order price. So boom, if them boys, if your price exceeds 55, you know what I'm saying? Which it offer would if you buy two shirts cause my shirts are priced at $30. So if you have two shirts in the cart, it's gonna be $60. Shopify is gonna pick up like, hey, this is over 55. It's 55 or more, he gets free shipping. So that's how I did it. You know what I'm saying? I just left the price box blank at zero and it's free and then make sure i would click add conditions this drop down menu will pop up i'll click based on order price and then you can make that whatever you want like if somebody um goes above two shirts two any two products on your website you can give them free shipping something cool like that that's how i did it the other part is the bottom part is rest of the world how i did this one was i just charged a little bit more and i put the tra transit time a little bit higher so it's six to 18 days to get to you, which it probably, it'll pro it probably, it definitely won't take no 18 days. It'll probably take like six to 10 days max for real. Cause I drop off my stuff real quick when I package it. You know what I'm saying? So with that, it's, I just left it at $8.
no conditions. I just put eight dollars. You get what I'm saying? And that was pretty much it. This is the video y'all been begging for, and that's pretty much it. It's nothing spectacular. Like I didn't do anything crazy, but um. Like, even with the carrier stuff, I don't know too much about it, so I don't want to speak on it and mislead anybody. You get what I'm saying? But I did um, I did my research a long time ago about the carrier, and this depends on wherever you live. So, like, for me, uh, US, USPS is, like, up the street for me. So I think if I use their rates, you know what I'm saying? You know they have first class. They have um, whatever priority. Um, and mind you, with your own rates, you could still drop off at these people. You get what I'm saying? I think that's how you get the, I believe that's how you get the tracking. So if you want the the tracking for, for when you package your order and you want the people to track your stuff, I believe it has to go through uh, a carrier. Because if I'm dropping off my stuff at USPS, how are they going to track it if I use my own label? You get what I'm saying? So if you want your customers to be able to track, I believe you do have to go go through with the carrier. And then you could easily just print like first class. Um, when you guys are packing your orders, you guys will see it. It'll be first class. Do you want to package with first class mail, first class package, priority, uh, whatever. Depending on what it is. So like a shipping label for first class will be like three dollars or something like that you know what i'm saying priority would be like seven dollars something like that you get what i'm saying so that's why they always say when you're pricing something make sure you put the shipping price in it if you're gonna charge for free shipping you know what i'm saying if you're gonna charge for shipping i'm letting you guys know from now priority is like one to three days which is really fast it's like seven dollars all right i do this every single day at work this is literally what i do i print out shipping labels and i package orders I know for a fact, USPS priority mailing is about seven dollars and sixty cents, something like that. Seven dollars. Um, first class is like three fifty or three something around there. You get what I'm saying? But first class is like five to eight days or whatever it is. So that's just my info on it. I set up my own rates, but I do need to. I am, as a matter of fact, I am gonna switch to to a carrier because that's that's when I had realized that. Dang, my customers can't track their orders. Why? It's because I'm dropping off the orders to USPS. And how are they going to track it if I didn't print out a USPS label? You know what I'm saying? So just a quick little heads up on that. That's pretty much going to be the video. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, USPS is the only one I know about. I, I never tried dropping off with like DHL or UPS. So I don't know their rates. Um... I guess it would show you. I'm not sure how that works. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. You wouldn't have to. I don't believe you would have to do anything. But like I said, I don't want to speak too much on it and mislead y'all. I'll have to do my own research on it. But this video is just about how I did my rates. You know what I'm saying? In the future, I'll do an update video because I am going to test out the, um, the, U, the USPS rates. So just give me some time. I have another drop coming up. What I'm about to do also is I'm about to put my my shirts, these t-shirts here. These t-shirts are about to go on sale for to like $25 or $20 for Black History Month. So I'm hoping I can really just get the rest gone. Instead of doing a pop-up shop, discounts is another really good way to get things off. Like, you know, old stuff. Because I can sell it for $20, $25. I'm still making a profit. So that's probably what I'm going to do. I'll probably change my carrier to uh, to the USPS. And then I'll, I'll do a video of me packaging it and showing y'all the rates and stuff so i'll do an updated video but this video is just for how i did it it's very simple just come to domestic which is your um wherever you live at i live in the u.s so these are my rates i just made up my own rates literally that's what i did i just charge people five dollars or whatever so that's pretty much gonna be the video i have a video of me showing y'all me printing out the labels if y'all want to see that and i think i talk about how much the the your own custom labels cost go to that video okay i'm uh, i'm gonna just link it in this in this description so y'all can see um because i have a lot of new subscribers and y'all probably didn't even know i did that so um that's pretty much gonna be the video i don't want to talk y'all heads off i'm gonna do an updated video on it though um make sure i like comment and subscribe let me show y'all uh we going crazy with this last vid it's it's one of my best videos if y'all want to know how to do 3d mock-ups i did a video on it Dropped it three hours ago. Y'all check that out for me, please, please, please. I just want to keep providing content for y'all. I already told y'all. Once y'all keep supporting, I just got to go harder. And eventually, 
It's going to pay off in the end, and I'll quit my job. I want to bring streams to y'all, P.O. boxes. Like, we going to get lit. Like, I'm telling y'all, I'm going to be a real content creator. I'm going to be dropping videos every other day while streaming. You get what I'm saying? Full throttle. I got a fire design, too. I don't want to spoil it. I'm going to just put in my order, and then when it get here, I'm going to do a video on it. Like, oh, my God. So, I got the flares, and I, it's another thing coming. I'm about to whip that up for y'all. I love y'all so much. If anybody know, like, send me. I'm gone.